the boat can travel at 40 kilometers per hour maximum a boat can travel at 40 kilometers per hour maximum this is the maximum speed while going upstream it goes at 75 percent of its top speed and while going downstream it goes at 65 percent of its top speed see what is the top speed 40 kilometers per hour is the top speed now while going upstream it goes at 75 percent of its top speed what is 75 percent of top, its top speed 75 percent of 40 75 percent of 40 is 30 kilometers per hour so basically the upstream speed of the boat is 30 kilometers per hour but while going downstream it goes at 65 percent of its top speed what will be 65 percent of 40 65 percent of 40 should be 24 into 26 kilometers per hour yeah 26 kilometers per hour so that's it indirectly he has given us the upstream speed and downstream speed i mean not upstream speed and downstream speed the speed of the boat when it goes upstream and speed of the boat when it goes downstream now this boat is traveling in, in a stream with a speed of 5 km per hour which means it is traveling in a stream this stream has got a speed of 5 km per hour you understand so 5 km per hour is the speed of the stream speed of the river speed of the water speed of the current whatever you call it right the, the flow speed of the flow 5 km per hour then approximately how long will it take to complete a round trip of 200 km distance now it has to do a round trip of 200 km what do you mean by round trip of 200 km See, from point A to point B, the distance has to be 100. So, you go from A to B and back from B to A. A to B and then back from B to A. So, 100 plus 100, it makes it 200. You understand? Round trip of 200 kilometers means one side distance is 100. Both the sides together will be, both the sides together will be uh, 200. Yeah? Now, try to solve this. What happens? Total time. He's asking us to find out how long will it take. So, total time. I mean, don't don't write this step on paper, but for the sake of explanation, right? Total time is time taken to go upstream plus time taken to go downstream. What is time? Time is equal to distance by speed. So, what is the upstream distance? 100. See, upstream and downstream, the distances are 100, right? 100 by the speed. What is speed when you are going upstream? Speed of the boat minus speed of the stream. So, 30 minus 5, 25. What is speed when you are going downstream? In downstream, you have to add the two speeds. Speed of the boat, which is 26, and speed of the stream, which is 5. You know the reasoning behind this, right? It has been discussed in detail in our videos. You can refer to those videos. So, 26 plus 5, 31. That's the solution. You're getting it? Distance is 100 upstream. Same distance, 100 downstream. While going upstream, the speed is speed of the boat 30 minus speed of the stream 5 30 minus 5 25 while going downstream speed of the uh, overall speed is speed of the boat 26 plus speed of the stream 5 26 5 31 so how much is this the first one is 4 clearly this is approximately 3 3 point some something right 3 point something so 4 plus 3 point something which is 7 point something look at the options First three options are eliminated. Answer should be more than seven, very clearly. Now, because fifth option, none of this is involved, you may have to do a precise calculation, right? Or if you are ready to take a chance, you can mark option four as the answer. If you are ready to take a chance, then option four can be taken as the answer. If you say, no, I want a precise, I want to verify whether it is 7.23 or not, then do the calculation. I mean, you have to do 100 by 31, 100 by 31. See, 100 by 3 is 33.33. I'll, I'll tell you, 100 by 30, 100 by 30 is 3.33. 100 by 30 is exactly 3.33 100 by 31 should be less than 3.33 right because when the denominator increases the value decreases the denominator has increased the earlier denominator was 100 now the denominator is 31 when the denominator has increased the value decreases it should be less than 3.33 so here 100 by 31 will be less than 3.33 so 4 plus 3.33 7.33 less than 7.33 7.33 looks appropriate I have still not done the complete calculation. I mean, if you want the exact answer, then you have to divide using the regular method, right? Divide 100 by 31 in this fashion. So, 3 times 93, 7 is remaining. Then take a decimal, put 0, right? 2 times 62, 8 is remaining. Then take one more time, right? You will get approximately maybe again 2 times, right? 7, uh, 3.22. So, 4 plus 3.22. 7.22 or 7.23 yeah but not required in my view i mean you should you should take some some chance some risk can be taken uh, when you have when, when you come across such situation